Well, hello everyone. My name is Shosonis. I'm still having a gold. I'm having a bad voice. But I'm back with some deals about Orc Aberration and some other stuff that they announced at the TwitchCon. Um, yeah, first things first. The sad news is Aberration uh, has been delayed by a couple of weeks. So um, I'm thinking about halfway November, maybe end of November, they're gonna release it. They need to tweak it and all the kind of stuff. They need to work things out. So it is not finished yet. That's a shame because it looks awesome. And some other things that have been announced is that S Plus, Structures Plus is going to be official. So they're gonna implement it into the base game. So it is um, going to be an official mod, but it is not a mod that you need to download. It is going to be implemented into the base game. So that means uh, also on console, you're gonna have Structures Plus. How awesome is that? I think that is just really cool. They are currently working on it. They have not announced when it is going to be released. So we have to wait for that. But sooner or later, we're gonna see Structures Plus into the game. They have also announced that uh, we can now buy the collector's edition without the game. That is now available for $69.99. So for $70 you can buy the collector's edition. You get all the goodies but you don't get the game. So that is really awesome. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna buy that <laughs> because I don't need another copy of the game. I just want to have the collector's edition stuff. So uh, yeah that is cool that they have that available now as well. And if you have the season pass, you will get more skins than they have shown before. This is so awesome. This is really cool. Check those skins out. My god. So they will be available on PC, but also on consoles. So uh, yeah, totally awesome. And I can't wait to see and check them out. Alright, let's get back to Aberration, to the game, uh, to the demo that I have shown. About Aberration, unofficial, there will be no creature transfer at all. And why is that? Well, they have uh, implemented almost uh, all the normal creatures that we have on the island. They have made them also uh, on this map, but they are slightly different. Uh, they are just the normal creatures, but in the dark uh, they illuminate. They have uh, spots on their body and, and stripes on the body that will illuminate and you can see them in the dark. And on this map are also earthquakes and all that kind of things. And with earthquakes, uh, when you're in the cave, li like you see here in the video, stuff is coming down from the ceiling. Stones will drop down and you can pick the stones up as resource. Also gems are falling down. Gems, uh, there are three different kind of gems and they are required for crafting uh, certain things. And I wonder, uh, will it damage the structures? Because yes, stuff is falling down uh, on your structures. Will it damage the structures or not? I don't know that because they have not told us anything about it. What I do know is that structures on the surface, so if you're out of the cave and you're on the surface, structures over there uh, at night, they are fine. But when the sun is going to shine, uh, the sun will damage and uh, destroy the structures. So this means we will not see any big bases on the surface. Of course, Tets and Wood is getting destroyed faster than Tech Stuff. But Tech Stuff is also getting destroyed. So maybe on the surface there will be small caves or something that we can build in. And uh, otherwise we just have to adventure to the surface and uh, go back into the caves again. And there's another new resource. It is called Shards. And Shards, uh, yeah, you can harvest that from light box. You have uh, creatures, shoulder creatures that you can use, like the bulb dog that you see here. You can use that one and uh, charts will give light. You can use it also to charge your flashlight. And light is important to defend yourself against the nameless creatures. And about the light creatures, well, I've seen uh, two of them. There is the bulb dog that we already know from uh, the trailer and the kind of things. But there is also another creature that is called uh, Feathered Light. And uh, this is a uh, bird thingy. I have some uh, pictures of it, but it is yeah hard to see because of the footage. So this is also a light creature. And there are also gas fiends and uh, they produce gas. You can use a gas collector uh, to put on them uh, like an oil collector on an oil fiend. And um, it, it is toxic to be in the neighborhood of them. So you need your, your suit and then you can place it. And then the Rock Drake. Well, this creature is really awesome. It looks awesome. Uh, it has some nice animation. It can cloak. And in the wild, uh, you can find them in a trance, just like the Wyvern trance on Scar's Herd. Uh, so you can find them in the trance, and in the wild, they can also cloak. So, <laughs> oh man, that is so scary. Can you imagine being in the wild, walking around, and then a cloaked wild one is coming to you and trying to eat you? Woohoo, that will be bad. <laughs> So this is an awesome creature to have. It can uh, glide, it can uh, jump and all that kind of crazy stuff. That is nice. 
And another thing uh, that is cool to have is the wingsuit. Then you can glide in the air and to have the climbing picks or however you want to call them. Climbing hooks or whatever. And uh, you can use them in combination. You can see that here. And uh, you can fly to a or glide to a service. You can hook onto the service. You can... Uh, yeah, then uh, you see a green line and the green line means uh, the direction you go to and also that you can go to that direction So uh, you can hook to that direction you can move around sideways and all the kind of things uh, When it is red you cannot do it and when it is blue you will jump out of hooking and you will jump onto the servers And about jumping well, maybe you have seen this creature already the crab and uh, you could see it in the trailer you can uh, pick uh, humans up, you can pick small creatures up, you can smash them around and, and all the kind of things, that's cool. But this one can also jump, check it out, this is just, <laughs> this is just is insane, this is just crazy. So uh, for the demo they added this, that, that it can jump. They are not sure if they're gonna keep it or not. So we have to wait and see uh, if it will remain the same or if it will be a smaller jump or anything like that when Aberration is getting released. Okay, because my voice cannot handle uh, much more, I have one more secret to show you and that is this thing. It's the tech sleeping pod. In this pod you can sleep and uh, then you are protected from the outside. Uh, people or creatures or whatever have to destroy the pod first and uh, then they can kill you. And when you sleep in this thing, uh, you will regain health again, you will uh, regain food, water and all the kind of things. Uh, Topper will be reduced and all that kind of awesome stuff. And when you log out in this thing, and when you uh, spawn back in, you will get an XP bonus. So I think a lot of people uh, want to have this thing, and how to get it? Well, you have to uh, defeat the boss, and then you get it. What boss? I don't know. Uh, it has not been said. Uh, maybe it is just for aberration, and not coming to the island, and that kind of things. But maybe it is also coming uh, over there. I don't know that. But uh, at least you need to have uh, it powered and uh, you need to have the TechGram unlocked and able to use it. So yeah, that's all the news that I can show you about Aberration and all the things that have been announced. And uh, yeah, my voice is totally messed up now, so I have to stop. Otherwise, I will destroy it even more. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then leave a like. Leave any thoughts about this video or whatever in the comment below. And as always, if you haven't already and want to see more of me in the future, then smash that subscribe button like a maniac. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.